What's going on YouTube? So I'm just in my driveway swapping over all my uh, vehicles to winter tires. So I figured now would be a good time to show my onboard AC system, or air compressor system I built from an AC unit. It was out of a 2011 Jeep Liberty. Can't remember the exact uh, model of it, but I looked up on the Sandin website with, uh, which one had the highest CFM output. And it was uh, the one that's inside the Jeep Liberty. I can't remember the exact model of it, but I know that 709 is one of the most popular ones for the onboard air systems, but I wanted something with a little bit more CFM. So uh, yeah, I aired down my tires just to show you how fast that thing airs up. So this one's down to 10 pounds. This one's completely flat. These are 35, 12, 5, 17s. So I figured I'd just give you a little show and tell on how fast this onboard air system actually is. I've got a uh, three gallon tank out of the uh, out, of, out of an old uh, air compressor. I took all the housing and all that stuff off of it and I just used just the tank. It's a three gallon tank and just got one of those stretchy, stretchy cords. It reaches all four corners and then I got another one back there for airing up buddies and stuff. But uh, let's get to her. We might as well do the one that's at 10 pounds and see how well that one does. And then we can move on from there. Let's get this guy hooked up. Can't remember if it's at 10 pounds. We'll know right away here. 9.3, so we can just pump that up a little bit. There we go. 10 pounds. All right, let's have a look at this thing. Just pop the hood. So this is the uh, AC compressor from the Jeep Liberty. I uh, reconfigured some stuff in the inside, plugged up some ports, and uh, all the lubrication is in the back side here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So the output is this guy here. I've got it hooked to a manifold. So I live on a busy street, hardly just driving by. This one just shows the uh, PSI coming right off the motor. I've got it hooked to a line that goes all the way back to the tank. Um, I got an air chuck here just in case I ever sever this. Well, I'm four wheeling and off roading, at least I have this one right off the compressor as a backup. It works pretty good. Luckily, I haven't had to use that yet. I got this thing tied into uh, this is the bracket I built. Um, so it's just off the front cover there. It goes in behind the power steering pump and I utilize the two bolts, two of the bolts, the one on the top, the one on the bottom, and it's just a one eighth of a piece of steel. And then I got this one that comes up here just to the bottom of the mount there. And then uh, I've got the remaining, the back bracket tying into the, the valve cover stud there. I know it's not that pretty, but I was using scrap metal during COVID and that's all I could get from the stuff that was in my garage. So, but everything works and it's all true. It doesn't squeak. It's, uh, it's actually pretty sweet. Well, I'll give you a demonstration on how well this thing works. Just fire this thing up. Got it tied into a switch right here. And here, kick on there. Off, on. Usually it takes about a minute, minute and a half. Yeah, so you just shut off. It's pretty quick. So I'll get you set up here on the tripod and then I'll uh, run a timer just to show you how fast this thing is. Everybody wants to see that, right? All right, here we go. Let's see how 
fast this thing is. Just setting up my stopwatch here. So this is from 10 PSI. I'm gonna go to 25. I usually roll around at 23.5. Uh, that's what the, I did the tire chalk test and that's what worked best for my tire. You can hear the compressor kick on there, it's pretty quiet. That three gallon tank, that I'm pretty sure that helps out quite a bit. takes from zero pressure, zero PSI to 25 PSI. If you guys have any onboard air systems, you should uh, leave a link below so you can check those out. I think it's pretty cool when guys do stuff like this. Never seen one on a 3.8 liter, so I figured why not post this video? And there's also another reason why I uh, gonna do this little comparison test because I'm, I'm putting a 5.7 Hemi in the Jeep so I will know I won't have this uh, system in that Jeep I will try and modify something see if I can get something worked out so 8.1 and 42 seconds Test the uh, ARB onboard system against this. I have a sneaking suspicion this would be it. PSI in 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Not too shabby. Not a bad setup. Like I said before, if you guys have anything set up like this that you've done yourself, leave a link for me in the in the comments so I can have a, a look at it. Let's kick it up a notch to 1500 RPM using our J-Scan app in the winch mode. That will give us uh, more CFM coming out of our Air compressor pump. Now let's uh, compare that with the, uh, the original one we did. Okay, we got you guys set up. Now let's jack this thing up to 1500 RPM and we'll see how much faster this system works. Pump's 
Let's kick it on. Under a minute. Under one minute from 10 psi to 25. Now let's do uh, the completely flat one. Okay, this one's completely flat. And I'll uh, show you my app here to show you the RPM. So the, oh, you see that? The RPM right now on the bottom right there is 1665-ish. So we'll set up the timer. I'll see how long it takes. this one up. Completely flat, zero PSI. Compressor just humming. And this thing's filling up pretty quick. If any of you guys are local to West Kelowna or Kelowna with a uh, dual ARB, I'd love to put this thing up against the test. You could have a pump off. So we know around one minute. It's going to give us about 10 to 15 PSI. Oh, we're at 15 there. The uh, J-Scan app kicked out my winch there. It must have uh, got too hot. So we're at 22. A minute and 24 seconds from flat to 25 psi with my onboard AC system, it cost me less than $100. Not too shabby. If you guys are interested in more videos, I'll be posting a uh, 3.8 liter Taro and a 5.7 Hemi um, swap in my next video series. So if you want to stay tuned for that, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.